Hey, uh, Alec. Oh yes. my god. What's up? Uh, well, we're about to watch an episode of some American TV. American, we love American, well, All Might loves American things, actually. Yes, I do! That's <laughs> do why I'm excited, young that. citizen. Alright, so I'm Robin Hood. Um, are you gonna, are you gonna steal those. from the rich and give to the poor? That's, that's it's, his it's whole thing, It's my right? thing. Yeah. I'm quirky. Yeah, you're, you're quirky <laughs> like that. I'm oh, just quirky like that. You and know? you got... Oh, and I've got... Yeah, quirks. Hey, yeah, that's how we're so similar. Yeah. We're both heroes, you know. Both yeah. great all-American heroes. So. Yeah, Robin Hood is an all-American <laughs> hero. That's for sure. All Might is only American. Okay, so Survivor. Uh, in case you don't know, I'm a big Survivor fan. Each week we've been watching Survivor. All right, I'm showing Alec and taking him along chronologically through all the seasons. Oh, it's a journey. Sorry, Robin Hood thing. A Robin Hood belt. <laughs> Classic Robin Hood hearty belt. Okay, so, uh, wait, Alec, yes. Yeah, um, so so you've been taking me through Survivor. Uh, you, you're very experienced with the whole thing. I you. don't know squat about Survivor. Um, not you. really. At least I didn't to start with. Um, but we've been making our way chronologically through because I haven't seen any of it basically up in, you know, and we're just taking this in order and I've, I've been i have a gag order i'm not allowed to hear anything from future seasons yeah like you, so, you gotta be tight you gotta, yeah tight, it's tight operation here all right that's right so it's good though because you'll get to see it evolve organically you know because yeah i started survivor like season 19 was my first season so <laughs> it's like yeah. then, we'll then retroactively yeah. i went back so it, and then it's fine yeah. i enjoy it but you know you don't get to see it organically flow and see where things came from how they but sort of sl alter things over time. And this is a stuff. unique opportunity to do that in, in the year 2020 from a show that started in 2000, you know? Yeah, for sure. So it's like a little time capsule. Uh, you know, we have a playlist of all the Survivor videos we've done on the channel as well. So, yes. Yep. Um, previously on Survivor, Michelle was voted out, um, and she did... She was, yes. She, <laughs> she said that she would uh, be the decoy for the drinking challenge and pretend that she couldn't handle the drink the nasty drink and then and she then chugged the thing straight up first for yeah for no discernible reason and there were immediate consequences pretty immediate yeah. consequences she got voted out for it yep. i mean not for it but if she had done it she could have prevented being voted out she at least would have legs <laughs> to stand on at that point yeah yeah and i mean they could have won immunity definitely if they did that because she was the, definitely the best uh out on that challenge mm-hmm so, I mean, we had uh, Rupert also in the beginning won the reward for Morgan, and then yep. he returned to his other, his previous tribe, and, uh... And then he'd let them steal rice, because he's like, you guys need rice. Yeah. Yeah. But then the other tribe actually did, that's when they won this drink, I forget the drinking thing was the actual mutiny challenge, too, it feels like it a was, reward yeah. challenge, but... Um, and there was a whole thing with Rupert, um, where... You know, Michelle came to Rupert, and he considered voting another way, but didn't really ultimately just went with uh, went with the Michelle. flow again. So you know, and yeah, and I know we we talked a lot last time after the episode about like his strategy or the fact that he's really more into the survival stuff than strategy. He seems but, like, to be. I mean, he does seem to be, but like I almost wonder if he his his end game goal is just to be as. He wants to be the best. His his idea is, I just want to be the best. I don't want to get involved in the pol political stuff. I just want to be the best player I can be in order to be the most providing person that I can be and then try to sort of coast along on that. So maybe, I don't know, maybe that's a strategy of sorts. Just looking at it now, but what do you think of the longevity of that? Like, He's going to have to start playing a smarter game soon if he wants to actually stay in it for for the long haul for well, the thing full... about the fact he can be in the majority um and he the tribe's going to go in with the numbers potentially in the merge whenever that could be soon could be yeah. this episode yeah um and they could ride it out in the majority alliance but right isn't the thought immediately going to be rupert's great right <laughs> so we yeah. have to vote rupert out because he's so yeah. obviously great at everything well that's and that's what i mean yeah so he's yeah, he almost puts a target on him, and so that's why I mean he he needs to, because that that can only like, that only lasts so long. Like carrying your tribe through 
yeah. challenges is like that'll get you to the merge but what will it yeah. do for you from there yeah it's see how again it, yeah i mean if he wins immunity out. every time right we'll have to yeah, see how, how it translates to the individual immunities. yeah yeah will rupert just be a beast at all challenges or yeah i don't know we'll have to see <laughs> all right so here we go i mean we were talking about the last time we were weeding out some of the fat get the michelles the lils out of here yeah we can move on and, and <laughs> the michelles okay, and the lils okay down to the interesting characters we have going on here see That's where right. it goes from here That's right. all right so click the link in the description you can watch the reaction highlights with us and uh then come back for the discussion okay all right. All right, Alec. There you have it. That was that was uh, that was quite an episode right there. That spicy was that was Trish wrote out. very spicy. That was some of the spiciest stuff we've ever had at a tribal council, honestly. It was great, great stuff. Yeah, it was it was Rupert great. just gives so much. Like just so much Rupert content in these yeah. episodes. Like yeah. everything from the providing to uh challenges and all these things and then he gives, just gives raw emotion like Yeah, he's he's an integral part of the season and I I love that. Like I was kind of I was kind of hope, hoping for something like that because, like, in the first episode, he was under the impression that, like, ah, he's just the guy, he's, he's just survival man. And, I mean, that totally is, like, his big thing. But there's so... He does... He does, like you said, he gives a lot to the season, I think, as a whole. Um, so they were almost going to turn on him here. Uh, that almost happened. Uh, but Sandra was like, mm, mm I don't like that. Yeah, so, I uh, mean... Yeah. This is, like... Well, the first time that John Johnny Fairplay has not got his way. Yeah. Uh, the puppet master himself got outmaneuvered here by. I mean. Everyone else. Sandra. Sandra is the one who. Yeah, Sandra really did it. Yeah. If she didn't dissent from that, she could have just stayed and voted Rupert with uh, John and Trish, but she yeah. went told Krista. Krista brought in Rupert, and then there you go. And then and Rupert then met. The Rupert thing that I went with Sean, yeah. I love that. That was like man to man. It was like, look, you you think you're going out, but this is actually what's happening. They're going to vote me out, even though like Rupert clearly wanted Sean out before yeah. he knew he was going to be the one voted out. He just made yeah. this uh, temporary peace. Yeah. At that point, they'd already gotten the numbers. Like, it yeah. was, was kind of like how they were going to say, "Don't we don't need to tell uh, Krista because we have the three with." John, Trish, and Sandra. Yeah, they could have done the same thing, just not told Sean. They would have had mm -hmm. the three there, mm. but uh, they brought him in. That's a good idea because yeah. what's he gonna do? He's gonna bring it to a tie. That would be crazy. Yeah, crazy for him to do that. So, I mean, there's some good stuff. I mean, the beginning of the episode, there was the pelican. Austin wanted to murder this pel pelican. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was like the Austin blood. Austin murderous. He's like. Yeah, he sharpened mm -hmm. my machete. I was like, "What is he doing?" <laughs> and then we it saw... was a very, it was a very docile pelican. Like it didn't didn't really seem to like bo like it was kind of like walking around, but like friggin' Ryan picked it up and was like carrying it around. It yeah, nice. I know it was it was very it was a very cooperative pelican. All, all things yeah. considered. Yeah, it wasn't like attacking them or anything. <laughs> <laughs> we also had John and Sean fighting about moving the the uh shelter up a little bit and maybe that's a little foreshadowing about where sean was gonna go because then he gets this opportunity to vote against john so he's yeah. probably like yeah i'll take that that's, and that's that why guy. he said and that's and that was his big thing right is this is my game now so but so i don't it's know really was, game, i don't know if he was but... talking to trish and that yeah maybe he voted for her or if it was just kind of in general in general yeah maybe i don't know like taking over who seemed to be the power i guess the mm -hmm. john and trish but, uh, yeah, okay, so then we had the uh, cannon reward challenge. Yep. Which um, Drake wins by a, just, just by one point, really. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a blowout, you know nope. what I'm saying? Cannons. Yeah, they had blowout. Um, yeah. like John that. then goes over to the Morgan tribe, to the pirate, and he just and he straight up tells them that they threw that one challenge. Yeah. 
and and they don't necessarily believe him straight up but they're like even it was almost like a even if he is telling the truth that's like that's still kind of like gross to say to them like yes. because it's like and if he's not yeah. telling the truth then it's just being disrespectful just being an ass. yeah <laughs> so there's no really good way to look at it yeah so it was that was bold it was definitely like that was that was a uh, but what would you call that? Uh, well, taking a stance, uh, um, I was almost like ruffling. He went over to ruffle some feathers, really, pretty much was what he was what That's he what did. They when said, he yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, his whole thing is we'll just if we demoralize this tribe and going into the merge, posturing, we'll posturing. That it. was kind of what I, that was the what I was actually looking for. Yeah, he was posturing pretty much. But of course, so. um, Morgan then wins the challenge where you have to carry the weight, which you would expect. Of course, the Rupert to just beast through that. I mean, he beasted yeah. through a lot, but overall, the other tribe was able to do more. Because it's and and the thing there was because they essentially what they did was they realized, okay, Rupert, we need to pile on as much as possible early on, so we can then focus on the other two members and pile on them. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they they did the similar thing to Austin, but then little did they know that Andrew would be able to withstand yeah. even more than that. Yeah, he was he was friggin' monster in that. Yeah. I mean, Rupert always is, but... Um, so, I mean, this is a great television right here. That's what we like to see, even out those numbers. Yeah. This was, this was, this was a, this gets a gold star, honestly. I'm putting a star at the top of my nose. This is, this was one of my favorite episodes of Survivor. Yeah. This was gr- great, a great episode. I mean, Amazon had, it was like pretty much one after the other. It was basically a gem. This has been a great season so far. This has been one of my favorite episodes across the board. This was... Yeah. It had pretty much everything you would ever want. It was really good, um, and just like, just by chance, it it works out. You know, like yeah, you want, I mean, at least I want to, the tribes to be as even as possible, like going towards the merge. It's so a little more interesting. It's it definitely more interesting. It out right here. It's more interesting long term for it to be that way. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because um, like, you don't want to. You just don't want to see Survivor Thailand where they just take them off one by one. You know, you want to. Yeah. Which, like, you know, the Amazon, they didn't come in. They don't, I don't think they came in even. I don't remember exactly. But then they, they just had enough, like, Rob maneuvering stuff to make it interesting. Yeah. But, I mean, if you ever come in with uneven numbers, there's always the possibility that it's just you steamroll through them. Yeah. So it's, it's good to avoid that mm-hmm. outright. But, you know, we don't know. Like, R- Rupert's right. There's no certainty you don't, in this game. So... Mm-hmm. You uh you don't know when the merge is gonna be necessarily, but um it was big the, it was big the first time we've seen anybody try to campaign against Rupert like that and it was just like a an idea that popped up Trish, Trish and John were on board it seemed yeah, Trish like Sandra just, was but not it, really it seemed like, like kind of out of nowhere she's like well and I and I, again I I completely understand the reasoning behind it because her thing was like look he could. He could literally ally with whatever, with whatever tribe. He's he's just a really likable guy. He's a very strong competitor. Mm-hmm. He could win this whole thing no problem. He's so already, he's maybe getting rid of there. him. He's yeah, already so, went over there and bonded with them a little bit. Yeah, so maybe getting rid of him now would be the best move. But I don't. I think she completely. She de- well, I mean, obviously, she very much underestimated how much the other members of the tribe care and also feel like they need to keep keep rupert around for a little at least a little longer mm-hmm. um, i mean let's them. be we can be fair to trish though like it wasn't a crazy bad move because no 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 it was I, only I, uh one miscalculation which was sandra yeah because john was totally on board and you just needed that one member to other member to be on board and sandra wasn't yeah it was i mean it's yeah i to be fair to her yeah it's it's not exactly that's not that's not an easy calculation to predict per se um, but Sean definitely would have been the safer pick. Um, I think you would have had less people. You wouldn't have had that opportunity to, to have come up, I don't think. But Yeah, it's not like you didn't maybe have to be such a big, bold vote, yeah. you know? Right. Like, you could have united against Sean and then at least go into the, the merge all on the same same terms on the same, same page side. and then you could turn and then you could make that move against because you could at that point you could convince the other tribe members hey uh he's a really strong competitor because at that point you could even potentially um you know if it gets down to a certain a certain amount of people you could at least uh 
agree with the rest of your tribe as well as maybe even other tribe members that like hey he's very strong and we don't necessarily want him to win the game yeah uh, we it is a weird uh decision if you think of it from like john's perspective i get that mm -hmm. he's playing like the rob sister nino game of like he'll just align with whoever whatever works each each yeah. round you know just yeah. to maneuver but it's not like you're not thinking long term because you could get this one vote through if the three were on board yeah and rupert's gone but then you have krista and sean who are upset with you and potentially going into merge soon and, and sandra so seems like up and like back and forth on him too like obviously here she went went against him and so it's like you'll have five five on the tribes and then let's say there was one more challenge they didn't they didn't expect but there's one more challenge before the merge and then suddenly it's like five four. Even yeah. if they're up numbers, these other two members might consider working with the other tribe just because you can't. They don't trust John and Trish. And right, right, you know, exactly. So it's like it's not it doesn't seem like the logical long term decision. You know, it's like especially since they're like you can't sit next to Rupert in the final two. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah. But that's something you can resolve later. Later, yeah. You don't necessarily have to think. It's good to think long term. It's it's also good not to get too caught up in long term because you have to play the game as it goes in, in yeah. some essence too. Like, so, like Rupert's there's a, there's a, a beast, but is he yeah. gonna win every single challenge? <laughs> like you can't. Yeah, get when you've out. got when you have ten competitors, yeah, it's like that's a different story, or nine, or you know whatever it might be. But yeah, it's definitely more opportunities for him not to win. Like almost any step, like if they go in with the majority, let's take out the other tribe and then go after him, or if you go in. The minority Rupert will still be taken out. You know, it's like there's yep. definitely more ways he could have gone with it. Mm -hmm. But I think John just likes uh, he just likes doing these these shady things. He's know? he's a wild and crazy guy, you know. So, but Trish yeah. was dead set on it. Like Trish has been a very yeah. quiet character this season, but so yeah, at least she... this is a big way for her to go out. Like she came out. Yeah, she's making a big move here at the end. Yeah, for sure. But you came after Rupert. He's a, he's a golden boy of this season so far. So. Yeah, right. Yeah. So you're just... I want you off of my island and out of my adventure. Yeah. What a what an amazing... St <laughs> That's why it's like, we're all we're all just NPCs in this in his JRPG, basically. All Rupert's... Point. Yeah. This is Rupert's, Rupert's... island. Yeah. Great. Well, that, was, that was great. They yeah. teased some sort of twist. Yep, there's another twist coming, so... They say the past something from your past. You. Yeah, what is so is that like there gonna be a ghost? There's gonna be a ghost. Could be a ghost. So uh, my my question is like, is it gonna be like another tribe member or something? Maybe like to throw in the mix, which would be wild. How that would so? Be, I, mean, I don't know. Somebody got voted off to come back. Like not necessarily to come back on like on a team, but like to come back in some. Just like. Just like messes up their camp. Yeah, I don't know. Like, <laughs> hey, maybe. Yeah, another pirate. They come in pirate. In, they come yeah, they pirate. Come in pirate. Yeah, they come and like mess up their camp or whatever. I it's don't know. uh, I don't know. it's uh, produce Ryan. He's it's coming produce back. Ryan. He's coming back to seek his seeking his revenge. <laughs> he just starts throwing bananas everywhere. <laughs> take that bananas. Here's take my okra. <laughs> <laughs> Clementines are half price. <laughs> Skinny Ryan. <laughs> Thought I'd never see you again. Yo, yeah, oh, no. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, that's, that I mean, was... they teased that it was something exciting and merge. Yeah. Based on numbers, would be next vote. So. So we'll have to we'll have to see that coming up. So. That'll be fun. It will be where, yeah. so you can keep up to date on all of our survivor episodes by subscribing and yes. clicking the like button and ringing that subscription bell. And all those fun things that a lot of other channels tell you to do, but honestly, that's that's the best way that you can keep keep up to date and keep notified of every when stuff. Comes every out. week, Survivor. You know, we, we right. do a lot of different stuff. Um, just in we general, do we do reviews content, and we yeah. do discussions, but Survivor will always be there. Yeah. Every week. So, what what video would you think uh, should people should people go watch after mm. after they see this? Do you think what what would the what would find people maybe enjoy? If you like some Survivor, but yeah, maybe there's something else. <laughs> go watch uh <laughs> I was thinking of the stupidest like random survivor episode. Go watch the Suk Jai foursome episode. Survivor. Okay, Thailand. yeah, sure. Yeah, no, Absolutely. you can go do Yeah. Quality content right there. 
Love that episode. Remember, they were so lovey dovey, uh, the, that tribe. And then the they final like, four, and it was just a sad episode. They yeah. had to vote each other out. Uh, but we're in, I, <laughs> for some. Yeah, we're in, we're in better. I feel like we're in better survivor oh, times. Oh, we're we're in much much better and bigger and better places right now. Because yeah, look, we get sure. he gets a little bit of downs, but more ups. You know, it's mm. not just all downs like the Thailand yeah. journey. Also, R.I.P. Balboa the snake. Oh yes. The snake, who had who had that adorable little thing where he was like looking up. Rupert was having like, a rough time to, in this yeah. episode. He's just like snake died. He was depressed about that. Uh, he lost the challenge. He was depressed yeah. about that, and then they wanted to vote him out. <laughs> they wanted to vote him out. Yeah, it was literally like this was like the depression arc for Rupert. Like but at least it wasn't just depression, and he gets voted out. It was no, depression. It was like, and he came out. He on overcome. Top there. Yeah, that's right. You overcome. You always over. You got to just overcome. Yeah, and he did it. Yes. So. All right, thank you. For All watching. right, yeah. I've been Robin Hood. We're in the month of October. This is why we're dressed like this. Yes, and I've <laughs> been All Might Plus Ultra. Yes, Survivor fans. That's for you, Survivor fans. That's that's for all those Survivor fans out there. You all <laughs> know that. Everybody knows that. All right, I gotta pee.